Hey there, I'm Keenan, and this is the Clear English Corner. In this lesson, we're going to talk about blends or instances when two consonant sounds come together at the beginning of a word, two or more consonants. And in this lesson specifically, we're going to talk about L and R blends because these can be particularly challenging. By the end of this lesson, you'll have a strategy that will help you pronounce these tricky sound combinations. So let's dive in. So like I said, a blend is when two or more consonant sounds come together at the beginning of a word. And we have a lot of blends that include the L sound and the R in words like class or glue or friend or brown. These combinations of sounds might be challenging for you because they don't exist in your native language. Sounds don't come together in the same way. So your tendency is likely to drop one of the sounds in the blend. Most likely you're omitting the L or the R sound. So the word glass might sound more like gas or blue might sound like Boo. Another common thing that tends to happen if you're trying to pronounce both of the consonant sounds at the beginning of the word is to overpronounce that first consonant, kind of add an extra vowel sound in there. So the word blue might sound more like baloo, baloo. Or grass might sound more like garass, garass. So here's the trick to mastering these consonant blends. Instead of focusing uh, on one letter at a time or one sound at a time, you wanna focus on fully pronouncing that second consonant. So for example, in the word blue, I can let my tongue be in position for that light L sound as I'm pronouncing the b, b, b consonant. So the tip of my tongue is up behind my top front teeth. All the sides of my tongue are relaxed, letting air escape, escape out the side. Oh, oh. Then I can bring my lips together for the B sound. Oh, oh, oh. And I'm gonna hold the L consonant to really let my ears hear that sound, let my mouth feel what it feels like to be in position for that sound, to bring conscious awareness to pronouncing the B and the L sound together. Oh, oh. I'm gonna hold that L and then I'm gonna move into the rest of the word, the OO as in blue vowel sound. Blue. Blue. All right, let's try a different word. Again, the tip of my tongue is gonna to be up and ready for that L. Oh, and then I'm gonna add the B right in front of it. So instead of B, O, very separate, I'm gonna bring these sounds together. O, O, O. All right, now I'm adding the rest of that color word, black, after I hear myself fully pronouncing that L consonant. Black. You wanna hold that L sound. Again, the idea here is to bring conscious awareness to how the mouth is positioned for both the B and L sounds together. Black. Black. All right, let's move away from the B consonant. Let's try the P, -p, -p the sister sound. So again, I've got my tongue up for the L. Oh, I'm gonna bring the lips together for the P. Oh, pull, pull, pull. See how these sounds are blending together? Play, play. I'm gonna hold that L and release it into the A as in gray vowel. Pull, pull, pull. You can play with that uh, blend, the P and the L, bringing them together into one unit. Play, play. 
Let's try another PL word, all right? Oh, oh, I've got my L. Oh, please. Please. I'm going to hold that L, bring conscious attention to making that sound. Then I'm going to release to that E as in green vowel. Please, 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 please. Awesome. All right, let's try it with the F consonant, okay? Oh, we're thinking of our L sound. Then we're gonna let the top teeth rest on the inside of the bottom lip as we produce the F consonant. Oh, fly. Holding that L sound and releasing into the I as in white vowel. Oh, oh, let me hear your L. Let me hear it, let me hear it. Oh, fly. Fly, fly away, fly away. Are you holding that L, hearing it, feeling it? Remember again, we're bringing conscious attention to how our mouth is positioned and moving to bring that F and L sound together. Okay, you are rocking this, we're gonna keep going. Let's try the K, -k sound with the L. Now we're moving to the back of the mouth for the K, -k consonant. So the back of the tongue raises up, so again, we can start with the L. Oh, cold, cold. This one's a little more tricky because we're moving to the back of the mouth. Oh, cold, cold. Again, the tip of my tongue can stay up and ready for that L sound though. Cold, cold, ass. Okay, releasing into that A is in black. Class. Say it with me, say it with me. Class. Class. In class. In class. Good, good. All right, let's try another one. Uh, cl clear. Clear. Holding that L, releasing into our E is in green. Clear. Good clear English, right? We want to speak clear English. All right, try this one with me. Cl, tongue up for the L. Cl, back of the tongue comes up for the k, k. clock, clock. All right, moving to another consonant, let's try the S sound and the L. All right, tongue's up for the L. Oh, and then a very subtle movement for the S. The tongue comes down just a bit. It's in a very similar position for the S as it is for the L. So try this with me. Oh, slow, slow. Do you feel how the tongue just comes down just a bit to let air flow through the tongue or in between the tongue and the roof of the mouth for the S, then up for the L? Slow, slow, slow. We'll take it slow, slow. All right, let's try another one. Sleep. Holding that L and releasing into the E is in green. S there's our S, then we're moving into the L. Sleep. Let's put it in a phrase. Sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Awesome, great practice with our L clusters. Let's try some R clusters because these can be equally tricky. Let's try the word bring. So again, we're going back to our B consonant. The tongue can be in the position for the R sound before we pronounce our B. Er, try the er with me. I've got the sides of my tongue up pressed against my back top molars. Er, er. The back of my tongue is up. Brr, er. Then I can bring my lips together for the B. I was jumping ahead of myself. Brr, er, brr, 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 ring. Brr, ring. Again, focus on holding the R sound instead of separately pronouncing the B and R. 
Brr, brr, they meld together. Bring, bring it, bring it, bring it over, bring it over. Try brr, break, break. We're holding that R, releasing into the A as in gray. Break, break. All right, let's try that P sound with the R. Okay, again, we've got our tongue in position. We're saying that er, 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 er. Then I'm gonna bring the lips together for the P. Er, er, purr, purr, a. Releasing into the A as in gray for the word pray, pray. Try this one with me. Er, purr, purr, ice. Price. All right, releasing that er into the I as in white for the word price. Per, 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 price. Price. All right, let's move these consonants around a little bit. Let's go back to the back of the mouth and let's try some g, g, g sound into the er. So, Er, we start with our er. We're bringing awareness to where our tongue is for er. Then the back of the tongue raises up to the soft palate for the G. Er, grr, grr, grass. Grass. Cut the grass. Cut the grass. All right, here's another really common one. Er, er, grr, grr, try it with me. Great, great, that was great. You're doing a great job, grr, great, great. All right, last group of words. Let's go back to that F consonant and try that one with the er sound. Er, we've got our er, then our teeth are gonna rest gently on the inside of the bottom lip for the F. Er, fur, 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 end. Fur, end. Er, fur, 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 end. Awesome, try this one. Er, get that er going. Fur, fur, e. Free, free. All right, and last word, let's try this one. Er, 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 get that er going, then we're gonna add the F. Er, fur, fur, Friday. Friday. It's finally Friday. It's finally Friday, or not quite yet, right? It's just Tuesday whatever. And there you have it, a tip and some serious practice on pronouncing those R and L blends. You want to kind of trick your brain by focusing not on pronouncing each sound separately, but instead focusing on getting to that second sound, get to that L or that R and hold that sound. Bring conscious awareness to how the, <laughs> to how the mouth is positioned to say those sounds. And then we're just adding that quick first consonant right in front of it. Then we wanna add the rest of the sounds in the word. We're gonna do this in slow motion. Don't go too fast. Our tendency is to get the sound right one time and then we wanna really quickly put the words together, like play, 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 and then we get messed up again. Don't be afraid to repeat this strategy over and over using slow motion, holding that second sound before you move on to the rest of the sounds in the word. You're literally training your ears to hear new and different sound combinations. You're training your mouth to move in new and unfamiliar ways. So practice has to be repetitive. You have to do it 
over and over in slow motion with conscious attention to how the mouth is moving and what you're hearing before these sounds begin to come out more smoothly and more naturally for you. All right, I hope that the lesson was helpful in conquering these challenging sound combinations. Be sure to come on over to the Clear English Corner website where we've got tons more free pronunciation practice lessons and resources. As always, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.